Hello everyone, you are welcome to Anchor Network where you get reliable and authentic news that are so crucial to you. I say big thank you to everyone who has been part of this channel and who has taken time to subscribe. And if you are here to subscribe, I say please click the red subscribe button and also the bell icon. The bell icon will allow you to get notified anytime we publish any news. <laughs> Gosu Yakpabi, one of the ministers sworn in by President Muhammad Obuari on Wednesday, was caught passing and dancing immediately after the inauguration. Akpabi, a former governor of Akwa Ibom State, was one of the 43 ministers assigned portfolios yesterday at the presidential villa. The former lawmaker was seen passing on the streets of Abuja immediately after he took the oath of office. In one of the videos obtained by Daily Post, the former lawmaker could be seen dancing alongside a popular musician, MC Galassi. Senator Pabio and his political associates parted through the evening of Wednesday. So guys, uh, that is uh, our politicians for you. After getting an appointment, they go to church, they go to all manner of places to do Thanksgiving to celebrate that you want to serve your people. And you know, what uh, baffles me is that a lot of people are like, oh, shame on PDP, shame on them. They thought he's not going to do this. A lot of people that were writing letters to the federal, to the to the president that uh, this man should not be appointed, that they are all ashamed. They felt that uh, they felt and thought that his career had ended since he didn't win, uh, you know, uh, the uh, the election last time. You know, for him to have come back to the night assembly, and again, oh, see Dino Milaye that was mocking him that they will meet in, on the street of uh, of Abuja. The, the who is laughing now, who is not crying. You know, that's what a lot of people are saying. Oh, that is your time. Enjoy it. Enjoy it to the fullest. Don't mind them. Hate us. They have many means of progress. You know, when you just try to relate what is happening in Nigeria now. You know, the other time, the, uh, there was a change of uh, power between, you know, in the UK, uh, from uh, Theresa May to Joris Bonsin. The second day, the, the, the man, the prime minister, you know, appointed all his ministers as if they were really ready. Of course, they knew what was coming up. You know, like, okay, in case this thing happens this way, we will be prepared. If it happens the other way, they will, they will be prepared. But what do we have? Almost five months, you know, thinking that, you know, uh, you know, different people that will come and turn things around, that they are going to appoint them. What did we see? Nothing. So the man, the Boris Johnson, immediately, you know, you know they, they, everything started immediately. And... Did you hear that anybody went somewhere to go and be doing to be partying? And most of these politicians, once you check them, most of them after finishing school, a lot of them have, have been on government payroll. They have never worked in their life. Majority of them, and that is why they see it as a business. You know, it's a lucrative job. Just try to smuggle your yourself in. You know, being a politician, you are made for life. Just like we always talk about, somebody will serve five years, uh, four years, eight years at maximum. And they will collect pension for life. And this pension is not a, uh, it's not a chicken change at all. It's very huge. We all know what we are talking about. They can party because they know what awaits them. They can party because they know the cookie jar is not open for them. This is the same government talking about uh, fighting uh, corruption. And this is the same uh, APC. When Akpabi was in PDP, you know what happened with the EFCC, with uh, Kayamu and all of that. You know what happened. But what do we see now? And a lot of people, you know, that is why we can't even... When some people are just making some negative word or making some negative comments about Nigeria, you're like, no, don't say that. Nigeria will be okay. They'll be saying the opposite. You know, when you see this kind of a thing, just look at it generally. You will just, you will shake your head. You will shake your head. These are the so-called people that you know. Even on the some, they will tell you, "Oh, uh, one is innocent until proven uh, guilty." But at the end of the day, you know what is happening because you know that they will dabaru everything for you. Even when you know that this is a real thief, they will change everything for you. Those are the, you just you know you will weep you will, you will weep for Nigeria. You will weep that what is what kind of what kind of a country is this? And the so-called people talking about fighting against corruption. Check all their ministers. Check all the people. They have one case or the other. You see what we are talking about? Somebody will come and say, yo, they have integrity, they have this and this and that. And, you know, I don't even blame people that are supporting them because even the devil has a followers. So what are we talking about? And a lot of people, wait, once you hear what people are talking, you'll be surprised. Someone says it is very normal. What do you expect from a hopeless politician who was praying not to lose home and abroad?
in some other civil environments when people are given serious tax of nation building especially in multinational nation like nigeria they go underground weeping and crying to god for wisdom and direction but here people go to church and mosque no not for prayer but for testimony on how god passed their invisible enemies they celebrate and jubilate what an irony a call to service and be a good servant does not call for a party but sober reflection on how to serve and serve away then after a good service and your master the people now say well done my faithful servant then you can call for a party and testimony clearly this bunch have no vision for anybody some don't even know the definition of their portfolio very sad yes like a uh, Beshola, minister of interior and he said you know there was a case that happened he said he doesn't even know anything about it he said he doesn't know about the portfolio about you know the the, the job titles or what it takes to you know to be successful or to even handle that a uh, a uh, uh, ministry but he's going to learn on the job so what are we talking about they will tell you okay bring youth in they tell, they will tell you that the youth they don't have experience so now he said it Arek Beshola said it that he doesn't have experience he doesn't have what it takes you know you know to ma you know take take, take up that a uh, 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 ministry but he said he's going to learn on the job so we are still going to learn we are going oh my goodness nigeria where 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 do we go from here where do we go from here and some people who don't even know their left from the right they will be they will be chanting though they will say oh it is it is true just like somebody said that instead of them you know the party supposed to even come after you have delivered after you have delivered but at this time you know it calls for sober reflection how am i going to make difference you know from people that have done it before from from people who has had this position before how am i going to do it differently it calls for sober reflection because of the way things have really gone in you know in this dispensation as to as you know at the moment it calls for sober reflection that God should give you wisdom. They will just go to church. Oh, my enemy God has shamed them. My enemy God has did this and that. Oh, the people that thought I could not, I would not write. All the people that thought that maybe uh, my political career, you know, ended because of the election that he lost. Those are the things that they will be saying. And people will be chanting, oh my goodness. So guys, I don't know what you think about uh, this whole thing, whether it is the right thing. Of course, some people will tell you it is the right thing. That was, what was the big deal? What's so special about it? Let's see. Let's see, the poor will continue to get what? Poorer. Why the rich will continue to get richer? That is it. So you now know where you belong. You know where you belong. Someone say looting next level. He has no idea what next, next, but to party. Very good of you, my minister. Somebody say that. Celebrate it tomorrow, bros. Now your time will. You see? <laughs> Some people say, well, ah, let me know how, uh, if, I'm, if I can get closer to him. Now, maybe I will get one or two things. Ah, you know, what is my own? No, some people have, I don't just know. I, I don't want to speak for people. Someone was like, oh, what are all these passing by our so-called appointed ministers for? This is an indication that our politicians are not serving Nigerians the Whole big hotels in Abuja went agog with party yesterday, yesterday evening, because ministers were sworn in. Oh my goodness, you can imagine. Hmm. Why would you not celebrate such good things? Don't happen all the time. So it is a good thing not to serve. It is a good thing. But if really most of these people, maybe at the end of the day, they come out, you know, uh, doing good things, you know, you know, uh, you know, making people to be proud that indeed, well, at the end of the day, you hear it is corruption that we, you we, that we hand the whole thing. You cont you start hearing a lot of things after one or two years. You will be here. what will be will be you know will be missing in that ministry. Your eyes will not be able to 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 to, to you know to be able to behold it. Just like uh, the issue of a uh, Kachuku and a uh, 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 the minister of a uh, uh, this thing. I don't even I've forgotten his name. Uh, Mekantu Mekantu and a uh, 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 what is uh, this other uh, this man's name? Ah, I will try to remember his name. Uh, Kachuku, you know, at some point Kachuku saw some things and you know he tried to make it known. But before you know, they just try to you know they cover everything up. So you begin to hear a lot of things. You let's see, so that we not just preempt today, but we already know how everything is going to end because they know what is what is obtainable. And the president will come and tell you, oh, he's fighting corruption. Now the president is saying himself is retaining that position. He's still the minister of petroleum. 
President Muhammadu Buhari is the Minister of Petroleum. He was the Minister of Petroleum 2015 to 2019. No, he has retained, you know, retained himself that he will be continuing with that position. He's the minister now. Buhari is the president and he's the minister as well. Mm. Someone say, when is uh, when he don't want to just say all of this. Thing. People should allow this man to rest. For me, he didn't do anything wrong. In part, he did. To so thank God for you know reaching another level. Another level. Congratulations. Another level. So what of the people, the masses, a lot of people are languishing in, in, in jail, in prison, you know, without any offense committed. Some people are just dying. They can't even feed themselves. You know, three square me. A lot of children are dying. Their parents don't have money, you know, to treat them. A lot of uh, a, a children are dying. No food to eat. A lot of children are on the streets. A lot of people are in the IDP. Oh my God. A lot of people are in the IDP. And the so-called politicians, the so-called leaders are celebrating. What a life. What a world. So guys, I would like to, you know, end all of this thing here. You know, let's see whether our our sounding like a, a broken record or lamenting every, every day. Maybe it will bring us something. Let's see. But we'll continue to talk. So guys, I would like to hear from you. And let's hear your own take concerning all of this. Thank you very much for always listening. Bye. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.